Hi, I'm Lewis Jones with Mamaki USA. I'm here to talk about one of the more common applications in the sign and graphic segment, creating car window decals. They're an effective way to market your business and easy to print and cut using our equipment. There are different ways to print and cut car decals depending on the speed that you need your final product. I'll be showing you two methods I use to make car decals using the JV100, the Maki laminator, and the CG cutter. So the first method I'll be using is actually going to be entirely on the CG cutter. I don't actually need to print anything at all. I'll be making cut lines for a white vinyl that's already been pre-laminated. Now I'm setting up an outer cut line so that it will be easier for me to take off of the... So this will actually have two separate kinds of cut lines. The initial green cut line of the artwork of the actual logo and an outer cut line. So I'm going to create a separate spot color in my swatches, a new swatch color, turn that into a spot color and name that cut contour one and make that a different color. I'm going to choose a red and that will give me two different colors, both recognized as cut lines with raster link and fine cut. I did make crop marks on this image, but that is not actually necessary because I'm just sending this file straight to the CG cutter. I don't really need to print anything, so there will be no crop marks for the sensors to detect. It's just going to start cutting in the first place where I start set the origin. Once I have my cut lines ready, I'm gonna send this over to Fine Cut 9 to plot. Uh, in this section here, I'm going to differentiate the different colored cut lines and assign them to a specific uh, cut function or set to. It's actually on the CG cutter, what pressure settings each one of these cuts. So the outer red cut line, I'm going to set that to cut two. That will be more pressure. It's not going to be sort of like a stick. I don't want the green cut line going all the way through, but I do want the red to actually pop out the entire image for me. Once the image is done cutting, I can bring it over to my table where I have transfer material ready. I'm gonna cut out a square that is roughly the same size as my finished artwork, maybe a little bit bigger, and then use the transfer material to help me take away the backing off of the vinyl.
Now it's a matter of weeding the excess material off from my main logo. Uh, it's a little hard to tell from this angle, but once you're up close to it, you can clearly see where the cut lines are and what your actual image is and what is just excess that needs to be weeded away. It's a tedious process, but once that's done, you can easily place this onto your car. This is made to go on the outside of the car, not the inside, and just press it onto the glass and then peel away the transfer material very quickly. Okay, moving on, here's the second method, which is primarily going to be working with a clear or transparent material and uh, making a three-layer graphic. Uh, right now in this image, I'm changing uh, some of the colors in the image to just be white. I want all of these logos to just be white and uh, black and gray. So. Everything that you see in this layer that is magenta will be transformed into white once I get over to raster link. And of course I do need a cut layer and I will need crop marks on this as well. These don't need to be laminated, but I do need to make sure that I can transfer this over to fine cut uh, after it's printed. So during the printing process, the crop marks do need to be printed. Now moving over to Rational Link, once I have my cut layer designed and I have my distinct layers of uh, white color, uh, my distinct layers of white and color, I am going to go to the composite section and arrange them in the order that they should be printing. I'm going to do the color, white, and then color, and there is a cut line, it will register that as a separate layer, but I'm not gonna be cutting at this point. Here in the section of raster link, I am using the color replacement option to choose everything that is magenta and making sure that it will come out 100% white. This image is going on the inside of the car and facing outwards. So I do need to remember that as this is printing, I need to switch it to reversible and raster link. I need to do make sure that I do that on both of my color layers and then I am ready to print. These were actually printed on the UCJV which is a print and cut machine but for the purposes of this video I am going to be treating this as if I were printing on the 100 series that does not have a cut option so I would of course I am printing with the crop mark so that I can then take this over to the CG cutter. This is the process you would use if you were using the 100 series. And of course the 100 series can print out white just as good as the UCJV. So the process would be exactly the same.